Hey everybody, Sam here from Green Acre Homestead and welcome back to the DIY greenhouse build. This is part six. Today, we're gonna to be painting the greenhouse frame. Now you might be asking yourself, self, well, no, you'd be asking me, wouldn't you? Sam, why are you painting your greenhouse? You're getting ready to cover it with plastic. Why, why are you doing that, man? Well, to which I would answer, <laughs> thanks for asking. Great question. To which I would answer, I wanna make this greenhouse last as long as it can. And this is the only time where I can actually paint it to preserve and protect the wood without it being either a pain or having to take the plastic off or risk painting the plastic, which is a high probable outcome with me painting. So it's best to start with a naked frame, greenhouse frame, and paint it while I can. I've got this cool little paint cup. It's got a nice big handle here. It does unlatch and latches back. I'm assuming for putting on the rungs of the ladders and stuff. And then it's got little magnets right here that hold the brush right in place. So that's nice, nifty. I've never used one of these before, but so far, I like it. All right, I've got myself a three inch paintbrush. Got some paint in my can here. Uh, oh, speaking of paint, this is Cabot name brand acrylic siding stain. This is what the lumber store uh, mom and pop building place gave me when I said, look, I'm doing outdoor structure. It's untreated wood. I want to paint it and I want it to last as long as it will. So that's what they gave me and that's what I'm using. An hour and a half later and I've not but maybe gotten a third of the roof done um, <laughs> as soon as I started painting this I regretted deciding to paint it I was saying you know what? you should have just left it as is it would have taken years for the wood to rot it would have been fine would have been no problem but no you had to go and paint it didn't you well now you're in for a lot of work I'm back I forgot I was gonna say some more things um I'm done for today I'm I'm done for today. My paint can is empty. Well, hang on. My brush pail is empty, so that is a good point to call it quits for today. I got paint on my hands, on my shirt, and on my shorts. So, uh, I'm not too happy about that, but whatever. It's the way it goes. This is at least an old shirt, but I wasn't planning on dropping the brush on my shorts and down on the ground. So, that's how the shorts got painted too. I started off the other day using a brush. That was ridiculous. In an hour and a half, I only got a tiny bit done. So I went to the hardware store the other day, picked up some four inch rollers. These are high capacity four inch <laughs> rollers. A paint roller, really long handle. Looks like it's about an 18 inch long. And then I've got this old paint tray I've been using. This is the paint from when we did our kitchen. So there's a little bit of yellow from the walls, white from the cabinets, and now there's gonna be white from the greenhouse. So these little paint trays are good to have and hang on to. I've got my paint clothes on, got an old long sleeve shirt cause it's a little bit chilly. I've got my shorts that I dropped paint on uh, last time I painted. So they're already ruined. And uh, yeah, let's get painting. So as someone pointed out in one of our other videos, they like our blue circular workbench. It works good. It's the old adage of 
surfaceitis. If there's a surface to put something on, it'll collect things. But it works pretty good for a little workbench. All right, shaking the paint. Go ahead and pop the lid. All right, that's ready to rock and roll. Put one of my rollers on here real quick. really thick paint which is good it just also dries quickly and stick so oh, almost got painted or I did probably what? wind is crazy what? but that's the way it goes up here on the hill <laughs> all right I'm gonna sit this out of the way all right now let's rock and roll there you can see how far I got after an hour and a half solid of painting with the brush, that was terrible. So hopefully this will go a lot quicker. I've got my roller ready. I'm gonna start on the top and work my way down from the top. And uh, yeah, let's just see how fast I can get this done. Hopefully it doesn't take long at all, hopefully. Well, a few minutes into it and the uh, handle on the paint roller broke. After closer inspection, it only goes in about that far. So I'm gonna fix this real quick. I've got a wooden dowel out of the workshop. I'm gonna drill a hole in the end, stick it in there, and make myself a better paint handle. My gosh, the wind! The wind! I will nudge this into place, persuade it, and that'll be really good. I have finished about three pans here on the paint tray and I've got all of the roof done and this front wall inside it out and I'm working my way down this way with the greenhouse this is going a lot oh I just painted the tripod stand away from the camera this is going a lot faster than brushing hands down and once I fix the plastic broken handle with the walnut oak dowel wait what's a walnut oak dowel a walnut dowel this has gone even better this has about three feet of reach which is really handy when i was up on the roof on the ladder before painting everything and it just does really good well it is time for me to take the boys inside for lunch break they are getting antsy and hungry 
So we're gonna go inside and I'm um, probably gonna make some tomato sandwiches. It's one of my favorite things for lunch. They on the other hand, probably gonna be carrot and then peanut butter sandwich. Whatever they tell me, well, within reason, you know, they're not getting anything they want. So let's go on inside and do some lunch and I'll see you guys when we get back. all right what do you think of that looking nice all right so the last step of this is to paint the base if you've noticed i kind of dodged around painting all the way down to the bottom and you might be thinking that i was just going to do the uprights and leave the bottom treated board unpainted but i'm not i'm gonna paint that top board and probably the edges of it to give a nice clean transition and foot or base of the wall and to kind of anchor it to everything and make it look Pretty. <laughs> All right, everybody, I promise we're almost done. The last thing to do is to take this brush <laughs> the old brush I started with, but I stuck in a baggie because I figured I'd use it again. This is a great trick, by the way. Take the brush and hit the little cracks, nooks, and crevices, and crannies, and whatever you want to call them, that I couldn't get with the roller. There's about a thousand of them, <laughs> probably. It's going to feel like it, at least. But I'm almost there. So let me do that real quick, and I'll give you a grand walk around, reveal, look at it here thing, and see what it looks like. You know, not that you can't see it behind me, right? Look at that. Would you look at that? Just look at that. You know where that's from? Let's see if I can shoot this over in the shade of the sheep barn without the sheep going crazy. Try and looks like I'm wearing like a bonnet, like a baby's hat, like I or a Napoleon hat. Come on, let's let's cowboy this up a little bit here, hat. Come on. You let me down. You let me down big time. Looks pretty good. All in all, it took me about five and a half hours to finish painting everything today, but hands down, that roller was way fast. So much faster than using the brush. So, for anyone out there who's wondering if a three inch brush versus a four inch roller, which is quicker, it's the roller. Also, for those wondering, you can use a roller on this kind of stuff too. I just got a really thick nap, which is really fuzzy and holds a lot of paint. Speaking of paint, this paint, while yes, very expensive, like close to $40 a gallon, was really expensive, it still is really good. It dries really quick, it sticks to the wood really well, and it's very durable looking too. So, happy with the paint. I can see a couple of spots that I missed. <laughs> Ugh, 
It's all right. I'll get those real quick before I head in the house tonight. Well, everyone, I appreciate you watching and coming with me as I painted the greenhouse today. It uh, probably wasn't too eventful, but it's another thing done and another step towards finishing this thing. The next step will probably be putting the plastic on, which I'm a little apprehensive of and got to kind of get a game plan together, but it'll be a good step. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you next time.